Hey guys, we're back here to grind some ladder here on standard. Uh, no changes to the deck since the last video. Just been just sort of riding high off the uh, last couple wins. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you do like my content, please consider subscribing um, and maybe sharing it with a friend who might also want to subscribe. It really does help the channel. Um, for my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for stopping by. I really appreciate your support. It does mean the world to me and is the backbone here of my channel. So I couldn't do this without you. Thank you guys. So the list should be linked in the description, both on Moxfield and on untapped.gg. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to jump in. I've got, uh, if you want to look at sort of the previous videos, we're kind of go over uh, sort of how the deck operates a little bit and sort of introduce it. It'll be in the playlist at the end. And yeah, let's jump into some games. Hope everybody's having a great night tonight. If you do really like my content and you want to, you know, leave a tip, thank me, um, there is a way to do it. So if you go to the little more icon, um, you can actually donate via super thanks. So if you want to leave a tip, um, I greatly appreciate it. You don't have to, but if you want to show your support and your thanks, there's another way to do that. And you can do that right in the, um, through YouTube here. So, all right, let's get into some games. Yeah, I'm just happy to be playing Mono Red. It's just, uh, it's been really nice. Yeah, it's kind of nice, quick deck. I really appreciate that. All right, opening hand looks great. We've got one, two, three, and three land to go. Up against Rakdos, this is, I think, the, the Cell Sword. Um, variant where they try to pile everything onto the cacophony scump uh, and then just uh, pump it up and do a bunch of damage and win in like turn three or something. So even though this seems a little bit unorthodox, I think the right move here is just play with fire and get rid of this thing before it gets huge. So yeah, I think they do have a lot of pump here. Um, I think we'll probably have to race. So sitting back is probably not going to work because they have a fair amount of pump. So I think we're just going to try to race it here. Okay, now we're in some trouble because they've got um, most likely another uh, pyrotechnic performer. So this would flip up for six. So we're really on a clock here. Um, I guess it's all about if they have pump or not. We could play Squee, get in with Squee and leave back Fugitive Codebreaker. That's probably the move just to try to you know, again, that they may have pump here, and so it might not be the best, but otherwise, we could try to race here. But I think it's maybe worth having a token defense. Oh yeah, this is going to be nasty. So they flip up for... This will be 6... 12... <laughs> good lord. Oh, it's a Bone Brute. Oh, good god. Yeah, so unfortunately that's just going to do it. Have not seen it with Bone Brute before, but yeah. I think we needed more removal there for their performer. It probably would have been, I guess, uh, in hindsight, maybe better to like sit back and try to block, but then we just get blown out by Monstrous Rage, so it's hard to know. Maybe it would have been better to like hold the play with fire until like their turn with a scamp 
so they like commit something into it we can just get them in response that might have been better ah uh, yeah hand looks great Okay, this could be Demir Boats and Bats. And I think, yeah, let's just go ahead and pass with Play With Fire. Yeah, there's the boat. that out of the way so now we can get in with Codebreaker. This is kind of nice because we can set up Invasion of Tarkir for the next turn. So now we can just go Invasion plus Monstrous Rage to flip it, and that feels pretty good. It is going to be somewhat overkill here, but I think that's fine. They have Fading Hope, it's super awkward, but I think we gotta go for it. Get lost is rough. But I think we can try for it again. We're kind of running out of time, unfortunately. Uh, they're hitting us pretty hard, but I think we can still try to get another dragon going. Okay, Monsters Rage is a great pickup. So now let's, where should we put our token? I guess if we do Monstrous Rage here, that brings Codebreaker to six, so that's enough. Um, Rage would get 
Swift Spear to five, so let's put it on the Swift Spear. I think that's probably the best move. Okay, we'll keep Invasion, that feels pretty good. Here I think, let's see, we'll be pressing potential lethal here, six, functionally nine, 11, 15, 18. So if they don't respect it, and let's put the two damage, I guess let's get rid of the blocker here. since we've got enough to push push through with rage. So I guess, do we still have lethal here? We've got four, nine, 11, 14. If they block like this, it should be game. And I think they see that. Now we can trade and at least set up lethal for next turn. And invasion should do it. Nice. All right, opening hand looks good enough. We've got uh, four land, we do have a Sokens, and so we have some potential tokens in there, and then we've got some early removal, some decent uh, cards here against Boros Convoke. It's a little bit of a reactive hand, but I'm happy to keep with, uh, with four land. And I think we want to get rid of Kami here with Invasion on our next turn, so we'll just hold the play with Fire. Now we can play with fire plus lightning strike to um, get invasion going. The real question is, is it too dangerous to leave this around for even a single turn? And it's possible, but I think it's a big enough draw and we can also do an end of turn to play around any kind of like um, removal they might have at sorcery speed that I think we let this happen as much as I don't like it. I guess the other possibility is we could have done play with fire um, and then set up like lightning strike and then flipping it next turn. Calyx is definitely a potential reason to, I guess it depends on what else they play. We can still respond here, but if they put the counter on 
naturalist and then play like something else like um, the plus two plus zero and trample will have to respond. So I think we let it go for now and just see what happens. Now we can get get him, hopefully. Unless they've got combat tricks here, this is going to be a nice blowout. Yeah, that was a good one. <sighs> yeah, I didn't... I guess they've been, there's been a shift to include this card. So maybe the, the play would have been to just uh, let them hit us and then on our next turn try to kill Calyx, but then they'd still use that. They still have the Royal Treatment, so it's kind of hard. <sighs> um, I guess now we just play Godric and sit. Yeah, so I think probably hindsight there... Even leaving the Naturalist for a single turn was too dangerous and probably should have used Play With Fire and tried to set up like a two-turn flip of our um, invasion. So that was probably a mistake on my part. Yeah, if you give this deck an, even an inch, it just goes a mile. And now it's just spiraling out of control. I think that that's pretty much going to do it here. Um, we would need a miracle to get out of this one with the 6-6 six, six and the 4-4. Four, four. So I think um, that is going to do it. Hindsight being 2020, could have played that a little differently maybe. So a little bit of a harder run today. Ended up going one and two. Let's take a look at the overall stats of the deck. Okay, so the deck still is 73% win rate, 27 wins and 10 losses. Um, overall, 83% win rate on the play and 63% win rate on the draw. So the matchups against Mono Red are still going looking really great. Seven and two against Mono Red, seven and one against Boros Convoke, three and one against Azorius Control. 3-0 against Mono White, 2-1 against Demir, 2-0 against Mono Black, and then looks like 0-2 against Esper, 0-2 against Rakdos, um, whether it's the um, kind of like turn 3 Blitz pump deck or just sort of the more traditional Rakdos control. And then, um, yeah, one loss here against Selesny Enchantments. Um, and then a win here against Golgari and a win against the Picnic Ruiner deck. So still very happy with it. And we will see you guys in the next one. You guys are awesome. Thank you again for supporting the channel.